in UK, 1 in 10 COVID patients were infected in hospital. Welcome to Nuntiva, I'm Ushpan and back with today's news. More than 1 in 10 COVID patients in 314 UK hospitals caught the infection in hospital during the first pandemic wave, says researchers. The research into hospital acquired infections has been published in the Lancet. Researchers examined records of COVID patients in UK hospitals enrolled in the International Severe Acute Respiratory and Emerging Infections Consortium. Clinical Characterization Protocol UK study who became ill before 1st August 2020. They found that at least 11.1% of COVID-19 patients in 314 UK hospitals were infected after admission. The proportion of COVID-19 patients infected in hospital also rose to between 16% and 20% in mid-May 2020, long after the peak of admissions in the first wave. The researchers said we estimate between 5,699 and 11,862 patients admitted in the first wave were infected during the stay in hospital. This is unfortunately likely to be an underestimate as it did not include patients who may have been infected but discharged before they could be diagnosed. In a press release, Lancaster University quoted lead author Dr. Jonathan Red as saying, Controlling viruses like SARS-CoV-2 has been difficult in the past, so the situation could have been much worse. However, infection control should remain a priority in hospitals and care facilities. Dr. Chris Green from the University of Birmingham was quoted as saying, There are likely to be a number of reasons why many patients were infected in these care settings. This includes a large number of patients admitted to the hospitals with limited facilities for care isolation, limited access to rapid and reliable diagnostic testing in the early stages of the outbreak. The challenges around access to and the best use of PPE or understanding of when patients are most infectious in illness. Some misclassification of cases due to presentation with atypical symptoms and an underappreciation of the role of airborne transmission. There were marked differences in the number of patients infected in hospital according to type of care provided. Hospitals providing acute and general care had low proportions of hospital acquired infections.